Professor Americus Reed, the world's leading brand identity theorist, has edited a cutting-edge piece of research with Professor Mark Forehand that delves into the origins and consequences of identity loyalty that spans nearly every consumer marketing subdomain. This is a sneak peek of Chapter 19, The Role of Self-Structure in Managing Identity Conflict. In this chapter, the authors argue that it is not just the identities a person has, but the relationships between those identities and how they are organized that shape behavior. For example, imagine two women who are both mothers, runners, and lawyers. One woman sees these three selves as very interconnected and similar. Her competitive spirit and assertiveness in the courtroom is consistent with her approach to running races and parenting. The other woman, however, sees these three selves as quite distinct and separate. She leaves her assertiveness at work, sees her role as a mother as that of a nurturing teacher, and her running is just for enjoyment without competition. Despite having the same identities, these women have clearly different selves, which we might expect would change the way they respond to identity-based marketing. The main idea in this chapter is evidenced by the difficulty people have choosing between identity products. Self-structure can range from very simple, such as just two identities that are very similar to each other, what we call a unified self-structure, to a very complex system where there are many identities, all of which are quite different, a diverse self-structure. The authors find that people with unified selves experience less identity conflict when choosing between identities, because the small number of selves are all similar. Choosing any particular identity is like choosing the others. On the other hand, consumers with more diverse self-structures, because each identity is very different from the others, experience a high degree of conflict and thus find it quite hard to choose between identity products. This chapter is important because we go beyond the content of the self, that is, the identities, to consider the structure of the self, that is, how many and how similar the identities are, to look at consumer responses, particularly identity conflict. This one example of choosing between identity products shows how important the effect of structure can be. Two people with the same identity can have very different responses if that identity is in a unified structure versus a diverse one. The authors explore the implications of self-structure on identity conflict and suggest future research directions in this area, as well as encourage work that goes beyond the content of the self and considers how the content is organized. With 30 additional chapters, this handbook establishes a comprehensive and state-of-the-art treatment of identity and marketing. It is the authoritative and practical guide for academics, brand managers, marketers, public policy advocates, and even intellectually curious consumers. Pick up your copy today and learn more at americasread.com.